welcome back. I feel like we haven't had a video for a while and we really are very near the end, not only of the year obviously, but of Crow and Punishment too. So the last thing we're going to do is the abolition of the death penalty and um, like some revision consolidation kind of thing. So we're so nearly done our first year of GCSE and it will be one to remember, won't it? Um, so today we are going to do about the Derek Bentley case. So you've got the story to read but I thought I would tell you the story anyway because it's just better to hear it in somebody speaking I think. So um, Derek Bentley and his mate Chris were not that well, like they weren't the best people is what I'm trying to say. They weren't model students. <laughs> um, they were used to getting in a bit of trouble and one night they decided to try and break into a workhouse, like a factory, um, a workplace and they were caught on the roof by two policemen. Now Chris had a weapon, it wasn't a gun but it was kind of like a makeshift homemade weapon, um, Derek did not. Now Chris was under the age of 18, Derek was not. The thing to know about Derek Bentley was that he would have been considered to have learning difficulties today. So he actually had the sort of mental age of somebody a lot younger, maybe a 10 year old when he was 18. So he maybe didn't have the same capacity as other people to think or understand things as clearly. So what happened was they were on the roof of the workplace um, the factory and the police caught them and they were basically there was a sort of tussle there was an altercation and one of the policemen ended up um, like handing over a gun basically Chris got hold of a gun and Derek said let him have it Chris now there are two ways you could interpret that. You could say, Chris, let him have it, kill him, shoot him, let him have it, or, oh come on mate, let him have it, hand the gun over, don't be an idiot. So this is a really controversial story. And what happened was Chris shot the policeman and the policeman died. So, of course, they were both arrested, but as I mentioned before, Chris is not a legal adult. Derek Bentley is, and Derek Bentley was hanged for the crime that he was involved with, yes, but he didn't shoot him. He didn't have a weapon, and he was not involved in the killing of that policeman. Chris was. Chris wasn't executed. Moreover, Derek Bentley had these learning difficulties. The fact that he couldn't process information as well as other people. And so it is seen as a huge mis miscarriage of justice. And a few years after his death, he was pardoned. And um, his gravestone says, a victim of British justice. So it's generally known to be a huge mistake. He was effectively innocent, just because he was slightly older than Chris, he was given the death penalty. And he was one of the very last few people to be hanged in Britain. So we're going to have a look at a few more cases. We're going to look at Ruth Ellis and um, Timothy Evans, who also received the death penalty for something which maybe they didn't do or extenuating circumstances. And then we're going to have a look at the arguments for or against abolishing the death penalty in Britain. So today you are going to have a look at the evidence for Derek Bentley's prosecution and against Derek Bentley's prosecution. So if you are in a court of law, then you have to present cases for and against and then the jury and the will make a decision whether they're guilty or not and the judge will give a sentence. So that is what you guys are going to plan for us today. And I will be back very soon with some more 
fascinating history. See you later.